Seven easy tips for don't starve together. Tip one, add signs to wormholes. So, you know, you're tooling around the world and you find a wormhole and you jump through it and then you get distracted, you know, you're probably chasing some mobs or, you know, collecting lots of stuff and then you forget where you are um, or where you were. You just need some wood and then you refine it into boards and you can make a sign, jump through the wormhole. Then when you jump out, take a little look around, see where you are, look on the map and then get some more wood, make another sign and bing bang bong, there you go. Tip two, make a rabbit farm. Now, a rabbit farm is one of my favorite ways to survive the winter because it's a real easy way to get food. The rabbits are plentiful in the winter. So yeah, I often put my base camp by one of these savanna biomes. It's this grassy biome here. What you wanna do is make a bunch of traps and you do that by um, collecting a lot of grass and twigs. So do that, make a bunch of traps, put the traps right over these rabbit holes and like that. Put as many as you can. You're going to need to collect lots of grass and lots of twigs. Now let's see what's happened here. Now check it out. See now you have a rabbit already. Wasn't that easy? So you just collect them. You can put the trap back. The traps do wear out over time and now you have yourself a rabbit. You can kill the rabbit. I know it seems a little cruel, but you know, it is called don't starve. So um, you can also keep the rabbits alive in your inventory. You only collect rabbits during the daylight hours. Uh, in the evening, they jump back into their holes and I don't think they even come out at night at all. If you ever try to chase a rabbit, that's pretty much a, <laughs> a losing battle right there. Tip number three, how to kill a mole worm. So if have you ever tried to just attack a mole worm, it doesn't work. Try to chase a mole worm, mm -mm, not gonna work, no. So what you wanna do is you lure them. You put down some flint, is a really good way to catch them. There's one right there, see here he comes. Wait for him, wait for him, wait for him. Ha ha, grab it back and get him with an ax. There you go, now you got a little tiny little morsel of food. Tip four, explore the edges of the world. So when I'm just exploring, I'm trying to figure out, you know, the lay of the land, what, where my biomes are, I go along the edge, right along the water, because you get a really clear picture of your world that way. You don't have to see every little thing. If you just go along the edge, you figure out what the biomes are. So yeah, I'm just tooting along, collecting stuff as I go, but figuring out the lay of the land here. You can see it on the map. Now, tip five, how to get silk without getting hurt. So you get silk from spiders and spiders can be kind of dangerous and they come in groups. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the traps again. To make a trap, you need twigs and grass. Make a couple traps, two, three of them maybe. You could put some like armor on. You don't even really need to. I'm not even going to take any damage here, I don't think. So you put a trap down. You sort of tease him a little bit, see? And then he goes right into it. Get your trap. Put your trap back. If you step onto that, you know, spider webby area, that'll lure them out of the nest if they're in the nest. They're already out of the nest because it's evening time. So it's a good time to catch them. There you go. Got yourself some silk. In the daytime, they'll be in the nest and you can lure them out by stepping on the web. And at nighttime, I wouldn't try to attack them during nighttime. They're much more aggressive. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this last little guy. Come on. Come on. Tease him a little bit. Come, come on. Come on, spider. Ha ha. There you go. Pretty easy. Let's get this last guy. Here we go, see if, we, oh, see if we can get them. There you go, got them. So you'll get either silk or you'll get the glands which are healing. They're both good things. You also get monster meat. Wicker bottom doesn't do well with monster meat so I don't usually collect that if I get it. Tip six, dry your meat with a drying rack. This is a really good thing to do as winter's approaching. If you dry meat, it um, is better for you. You'll have better health and better sanity when you eat the meat. And it also, it'll keep it from rotting quite a bit longer. 
So part of the ingredients is that you're going to need charcoal. So you get charcoal by burning down some trees. Now, my son hates it when I set a forest fire, but, you know, I don't know. you got to do it sometimes. Don't do this by your by your uh, base camp, though, because you can burn your base camp down. I've learned that the hard way. So you need twigs, you need charcoal, and you need rope. You make rope by collecting grass and refining it. So go around, chop down the trees. There you got your charcoal. I always think it's a good idea to replant after you burn an area. It's kind of nice. It's kind of ecologically sound, I suppose. You'll appreciate it later when you've been around for a year in the game and you need more trees. So, yeah. Now we're going to go get a rabbit after we build this drying rack here. So we got rope. The drying rack is in your food tab. You do need a science machine to build it, though. Unless you're wicker bottom. I believe you don't need it if you're wicker bottom. One of the other perks of being wicker bottom. So, yeah, here we go. Got ourselves some rabbit meat. And... You have to murder the rabbit. Sorry, rabbit. There you go. And you'll come back later and the meat will be dry. Tip seven, collect beefalo poop. Beefalo poop is really good for fertilizing plants. So maybe you have um, planted a bunch of like berry bushes at your base camp or you're growing a garden. You're gonna need some sort of fertilizer and beefalo poop is great. When you're around beefalo, I always um, take my weapon out of my hands because many times I've gotten too close and inadvertently attack them and they will kill you very fast. So don't do that. <laughs> So thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more Don't Starve Together Alone.